Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So in today's video, I am going to be explaining international bra sizing and how it works and all that good stuff. Before we get started, I've got something to ask you. If you don't mind, if you could please like and subscribe, it really, really helps the channel. And I want to say a massive thank you to all the people that have liked and subscribed to this channel, helping women find their correct bra size and know how a bra should really fit. So let's get back to today's video. How international bra sizing works. Now it's no surprise that 85% of women are wearing the wrong size bra. I am hoping that I am reducing that figure one lady at a time. Once you have done all those measurements, you've me measured your rib cage, fullest part of the bust, you've worked out what size you are, you've followed all the how to's, check, check, check. How do you then know what bra size you're actually buying because believe it or not every country has a different way of sizing bras just to add complications to the issues now with bra sizes they do have the standardized band size and cup size so what you'll find in the UK and the US they use the same sizings for band size which is from a 28 to a 54, and these are inches, sizes measured in inches. In the European Union and other countries that actually I'll get to, they use a different measurement to work out rib cage. They actually use centimeters. So they go from 75 centimeters right up to 150 centimeters. And that's because in Europe they use the metric system and everything's measured in centimeters and just to add a little bit more confusion france actually used their own measurement for band sizes france go from a 75 centimeter measurement upwards as you can see there are quite a few different ways that bra manufacturers measure band size in different countries so how about cup size you guessed it cup sizes have the same issue so i've got my trusty whiteboard and i thought it's about time i started to use this again because i really enjoy drawing and writing and from my previous videos you'll have seen how good my artwork is don't laugh at me so in everything is equal from an a to a d so every country uses A to D cup but when it gets past the D cup this is where it becomes almost like a free-for-all you know it's just wacky races right here so in the UK they go to a double D In the US, they also use double D. In Europe, they stop using doubles. They don't use any doubles at all. They use an E. And it's the same in France. So already, you're starting to see how they are kind of dividing off so up to now the uk and the us have still got the same measure for cup size and what you'll find with cup size is as you go through the letters the cup sizes are an inch deeper in diameter so that's why you have a b c d etc and then this is where it gets really really perplexing to a lot of people so the UK then goes from a double D goes to an E. The US goes to a triple D and in some brands they actually name the triple D the F. And then in Europe they call it 
an F cup. So already we're starting to see that it's starting to split off and pair off. And then it goes on like this. So the UK then goes F, the US goes G, and EU goes G. But then as you start getting up the numbers, the UK has double Fs and it goes into more of the doubles whereby the US just runs through the alphabet from F, well, from G upwards. And the EU and France does the same. And it just becomes very complex and perplexing and confusing. So how do you fix this problem? How do you know what size you should be in what country? So all you need to do as the consumer, as a customer, is know where your bra is being manufactured. I say all. You need to know if it's a UK brand, a US brand, or a European brand. Once you have that information, I have created a international bra size chart for you so that you don't have to work out what size you are in which country. All you need to know are your measurements. So if you have measured your size in the US sizes, you go to the chart and it will tell you what the comparative size is in the UK or in the EU. If you have measured your size in the UK sizes, the same. You will have a chart, you just plot your size and it will say, okay, you measured a 32E in a UK size. So therefore, in the US, you are a triple D or you are an E in the U European sizes. I hope that makes sense to you. The chart that I've included also takes into account band size. So, the, like I said before, the US and the UK, the band sizes are the same. And you'll find it's two inches different between each band size. So if you're a 32 band, it's two inches gives you a 34 band. Two inches onto the 34 gives you a 36 band and so on and so on. So the chart as well will work that out for you. And when it comes to the larger cup sizes, a lot of the brands that are sold, so for instance, your Frey, your Fancy, your Elomi, your Panache, your Curvy Kate, your Pour Moi, they all come in UK sizings. So they use a double letters. The only brands that cater to the larger cup sizes that don't use the UK sizings are goddess and glamorize and the list is growing gradually but they're not as popular so i've not included them if you are stuck with which brand uses which sizing you know what to do just comment below i will come back to you and i will let you know and i will update you with that information I just thought giving you a size chart would be really helpful information for you to have because braying bras is already complicated enough. And if you know what size you are and you've done all that hard work to work out your size, you don't want to then struggle when it comes to buying the bras in your size because you're thinking you're ordering a US size and you actually get a UK size. So I hope this has helped. If it has, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.